hope Senator Al Franken is watching today. If it weren't for double standards around this place, there wouldn't be any standards at all. Mr. Grunberg, have you ever heard the expression, a fish rots from the head down? Yes, Senator. I understand you, I listened carefully to your testimony. Do I understand you to assert that you're the, you believe you're the person to clean up the FDIC? I do, Senator. Do you also believe that Elvis is alive? Not to my knowledge, Senator. Do you also believe in Bigfoot? No, sir. Uh, have you read this report? Yes, sir. You've been the chairman of the FDIC 10 of the last 13 years, haven't you? Yes, I have. And you've been there for 20 years almost, haven't you? Nearly, yes, sir. And this sleaze has been going on for decades, has it not? I think the report makes that finding, Senator. Did you read the report, the part of the report where, where uh, one of your supervisors described one of, one of your young and female employees as being, quote, like a grizzly bear with tits, close quote? I've read the report, Senator. Did, did you read the part of the report where, the, uh, where an, one of your supervisors asked a, a young female employee, quote, does your husband eat you? Did you read that? I, I have read the report, Senator. Did, did you read the report of the report where one young employee said her supervisor sent, a, sent her a text? You know what the text said? Quote, get naked, bitch. Did you read that? Yes, sir. Did, did you read the part of the report where one of your supervisors um, turned to, to one of your Hispanic employees and, and asked him to recite the Pledge of Allegiance to prove that he is an American? Did you read that? I read it, sir. You're not going to be able to clean up the FDIC because you're going to be too busy defending yourself in court. I'm going to introduce a bill to extend the statute of limitations to allow every employee at the FDIC to file suit over the sexual abuse and the sexual discrimination and this racism. And you're going to be spending all your time in court. Now, the, the, uh, the, the, the uh, Clary Gottlieb report doesn't think you're the person to clean up the FDIC, does it? I don't know that the report reaches that conclusion, but it certainly has critical comments in regard to me, Senator. Well, I mean, the FDIC report says that, uh, it, it, it says that uh, even your senior leaders feel, quote, disrespected, disparaged, and treated unfairly by you. Did I, did I quote that correctly? Yeah, I, I have read the report, Senator. And, and the, the Cleary Gottlieb report, it goes on to say um, that your long tenure and reputation for losing your temper and bullying people, quote, presents unique challenges, close quote, for you to change the agency. Did you read that part? I have read it, Senator. And, and the Cleary Gottlieb report also says it questions whether you have the, quote, moral authority to do so. Is that correct? I have read the report, Senator. Yes, sir. You, you fixing this agency, Mr. Gruenberg, is like asking, it's like asking Alec Baldwin to conduct a course in gun safety. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. And Mr. Sue, you ought to be ashamed of yourself for acting like a lick spittle here today. 
trying to defend this gentleman. Um, have you ever read a worse report, Mr. Grunberg, in all your years? It's a bad report, Senator. Yeah, it's bad. Um, look, I, I, I could go through this report. I'm, I'm embarrassed to have to even read some of these, some of these allegations. Would you, would, the, 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 these, the, the, these folks on the first row behind you, are they FDIC employees? Some of them are, Senator, yes. Would, would you like to turn around and apologize to the female employees sitting behind you at the FDIC? I have, Senator. Would you like to do that now? If you ask me to, I will. I think you should. I apologize. And now I think you ought to resign. Uh, Senator Smith from Minnesota is recognized.